Hello everyone! Today we're doing some easy holiday paintings, so grab your paintbrush. We'll start off with a poinsettia painting, then do a nighttime silhouette painting with a deer. I chose to paint on seashells today, but feel free to paint on canvas, wood, paper, or anything else you have lying around. For these tutorials, I used a sheet of paper and a pencil, a small fine paintbrush, an even finer paintbrush, a large flat paintbrush, a pair of scissors, tape, a cup of water and something to hold your paint, and some acrylic paint. I'm using water-based craft acrylics in black, white, dark blue, primary red and yellow, and dark green, but you can always mix your own green if you don't have one. Okay, let's start with the poinsettia painting. Here's the flower I drew. I'm just going to flip it over and trace it to quickly show you step by step how to draw it. So first mark the center of the flower. Then draw five lines in a star shape coming from the center, all about the same length. Then use these lines as a guide to draw five petals with the lines down the center. Make your petals thinner towards the center and wide enough so that they all touch. It's okay if there's lots of lines and eraser marks because this is just the rough sketch. Once you've drawn the five petals, Start drawing five more lines from the center, but this time draw them in between the petals. Make sure the lines extend out longer than the petals and are all about the same length. Use these lines to draw five more petals behind the first set, slightly wider and longer than the first petals. Then we're going to add three more, even larger petals, evenly spaced out behind the first ten. These will be our leaves. And you should have a flower. Now flip your drawing over and color the back completely so that all the lines on the other side are covered. Then cut out your flower and tape it flat, colored side down, to whatever you're painting. Once the drawing is all taped down, trace over the whole drawing, pressing down firmly as you do so. This will transfer the design onto the surface of what you're painting. Darken your design if need to with the pencil and erase any extra markings. Alright, now it's time to paint. Grab yourself a small amount of green paint and some red paint as well. Start with the middle sized paintbrush and green paint and just fill in your three leaves with a first layer. Then rinse and dry your brush and fill in the petals with red paint from the outside in. Allow the paint to dry. By this time, the green is probably dry, so if you need to do a second layer of paint, start with the green leaves. Then once the red is dry, 
do a second layer over all the petals as well. Okay, now it's time to add some shading. So get yourself a very small amount of black paint and mix it with a small amount of green paint to get a very dark green. Then water down some of the very dark green paint. Make sure the leaves are completely dry, then grab your very fine paintbrush and watered down paint and trace the center line of the leaf. Now grab more watered down paint and start shading around the petals by tracing around them and then grabbing more water on your brush and using it to blend out the paint. Just use tiny amounts of water and if you use too much you can dab it with a paper towel or tissue. Repeat this on all three leaves and then wash your brush. Now for the petals, mix a drop of black paint with some red paint to make a very dark red paint. Then water some of it down. We'll start with the outer petals first. Grab the same very fine paintbrush and use it to shade the same way we did with the leaves. Trace around the inner petals, then grab more water to blend out the paint. Also paint the line down the center of the petals. After the first petal I realized the paint was a little bit too dark so I added some more red. Continue to shade all of the outer petals that way. Now for the inner petals, paint the line down the center of the petal, then lightly shade the center of the flower. Then I went back and repeated the process on the outer petals to darken them. Don't be afraid to go back in with some plain red paint if you feel like you went too dark or if you need to touch up somewhere. Then I completely forgot to record it, but what I did was grab some yellow paint and dipped the back end of my paintbrush in it. Then stamped five small dots in the center of the flower in the shape of a flower. And that's the first painting. Next is a monochromatic silhouette painting. Start by pouring yourself two big blobs of blue paint, then add a drop of black to one of the blue blobs, and pour another separate blob of white paint. Mix your black and blue to make a very dark blue. Now I didn't end up pouring myself enough paint, so do more than I did. Alright, grab your big flat paintbrush and paint the whole surface blue. Allow it to dry and then add another layer of blue if needed. Allow that layer to dry completely, 
Then add one more layer of blue, but this time when you're done and the paint is still wet, dip your brush into the white paint and start blending it into the blue from the bottom up, creating an ombre effect. Add more blue or more white to your liking. Then wash your brush and dry it quickly because we're going to add some very dark blue just at the top and blend it down. Allow everything to dry. Once it was dry, I realized I can see some brush strokes, so I decided to do another layer of the ombre, but that's totally optional. Now while we're waiting for the background to dry, we can add the stars in the sky. To do this, I used a sewing pin dipped in white paint to stamp stars just in the darkest part of the painting at the top. I made lots of stars. Now while we continue to wait for that to dry, we can draft out our silhouette. I'm doing a deer, but feel free to do any shape you like. So you get to watch me struggle to draw a deer while looking at a picture of a deer. This was difficult. I probably should have just traced the picture, but I felt like it was cheating, so here's a quick tutorial for this wonky deer. Start by drawing a horizontal potato shape. <laughs> then coming up from the right side of the potato, start drawing the neck. It should be about a quarter of the size of the potato, wide and tall. Then on either side of the top of the neck, start drawing ears straight out each side. They should be shaped almost like the ends of hockey sticks. Now give your deer thin devil horns, and you can just leave it at that, or you can add large antlers coming out of either side of the horns, like curved pitchforks. Now the legs are the hard part. Start with the very back leg and draw it coming out a little bit from the potato. Draw the thigh straight down, then curve at the knee out to the left a little and then down again to the hoof. It's hard to explain, but the leg should be about as long as the potato is. Now draw the leg next to it, straight down with the hoof ending just short of the last leg. Then we will do the front leg. Draw the thigh straight down from the front of the potato, then curve it out a bit for a knobbly knee, then down again to the hoof. This leg should be about the same length as the back one. Now the last leg. Draw it straight down with a knobbly knee and make it slightly longer than the rest of the legs. Make sure the thighs get thicker towards the body and that all the legs touch at the base. Tweak your outline by erasing and redrawing until it's only a little bit wonky. Alrighty, keep that drawing for later and now your background should be dry. All of your paint will probably be dry as well, so add some water to your very dark blue paint with your very fine paintbrush and start making the hills by painting a line straight in from one side and then curving the line downwards and ending around the middle. Paint another line shooting off from near the end of the first line and curve it up slightly and out the other side so that the hills look like they're overlapping. Now water down some of that very dark blue paint and start shading your hills. To do this, take some watered down paint and spread it just under the outline of the hills 
and blend it downwards. Then add a tiny bit more water to your brush and use it to further blend out the paint. Once the paint is dry, add another layer. Now it's time for some happy little trees. So map out where you want your trees to go by drawing straight lines upwards near the corners of the hills for tree trunks. Then use downward strokes to make your tree trunks into shaggy little triangles and fill them in. I ended up having to mix more paint, but once the trees are dry, add another layer of the very dark blue. Then we're going to bring back the wonky deer and cut it out. Then color the back of it with your pencil and this time we're just going to hold it in place, colored side down, on the background while we trace over it. Now it's hard to see the outline on camera because it is faint, but in person I could see it quite well. So grab your very fine paintbrush and very dark blue paint and fill in your outline. And that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed these tutorials. If you did or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at an orth at all. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching.